welcome to the API SecOps tutorial with Partner Engineering. And what we're going to be doing here today is stepping through an end-to-end -end API SecOps solution where we're going to take an API spec all the way from design, promote it across multiple environments using API SecOps best practices with ConConnect and Rosa, Red Hat, OpenShift services on AWS. So from a 10,000 foot view, what we want to build is an API SecOps solution that embodies the four principles, design first, governance, centralization, and GitOps, or what we like to call API Ops. So let's dive into these really quickly. With design first, we want the development team to be designing the API spec up front for a number of reasons. When we have that spec, it can be reviewed and validated that aligns with the product requirements before we actually get into the build. Second, the development team can be designing that spec with the API security requirements defined by our governance team up front as well. And last is the output, which is that you now have the API documentation in hand and ready to publish in a dev portal. And it may not be apparent, but not having your API documentation available is actually one of the top security concerns we have because we just are starting, there's so many APIs out there, we have so many microservices we're developing, we're, we're actually just losing track of what we've deployed out into production. So that's design first. Once the development team has finished designing the API spec, it's got, it goes into source control and it's handed over to the governance team. Where it should be able, we sh the API spec should be able to be efficiently reviewed by the governance team, and this also equivalently should be an automated process. So this can be done with our Inso CLI tool, where the governance team will be able to write custom tests, uh, custom tests, and then process it in an auto lint test and review pipeline. Once this review, automated review process has been complete, for example, this PR can be merged in and then passed over into automation built out by our, our operations team, where we get into centralizations. And using our DEC CLI tool here at Kong, we'll be able to take that API spec and get it deployed into the Connect control plane, as well as prep us for Connect Service Hub and Dev Portal for documentation. And all of these activities whether it be development, governance, or operations, should all be handled from a GitOps best practices. So this is what the, this is the ten thousand foot view. But what I find is really hard to see is a full solution where we you know we don't see the promotion process from a design to a sandbox to a dev to production, which is what so that's what we're actually going to be accomplishing in this demo today. So let's go ahead and take a look at the plan for today's tutorial. In terms of infrastructure, we're actually just going to have one ROSA cluster. I know it looks like two from this diagram, but at the top, we're just depicting the Tecton pipelines we're going to be executing. And at the bottom, we just it's really more about the infrastructure. But this is all formally one ROSA cluster. So in terms of starting with Connect, in Connect, we're going to deploy two runtime groups, Sandbox runtime group and the Dev runtime group. Each runtime group is respectively going to have some gateways deployed in OpenShift, representing each of those respective uh, environments. So we're going to have a gateway deployed associated with Sandbox to manage all of our Sandbox microservices and a gateway deployed for Dev to manage exposing all of our Dev microservices. In terms of Dev, in terms of microservices in Dev, we just have this Acme Bank disputes application deployed. And you'll see it's very intentional. We don't actually have a disputes sandbox application employed. And that's because what we want to demonstrate when we get there is how we can how we can build an API spec, get it up and deployed into a sandbox ecosystem for validation before we actually get into build time. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So this is the infrastructure. This is the core infrastructure that we have in OpenShift. And then this is the core infrastructure that we're going to have in Connect. We're also going to be leveraging Service Hub and Dev Portal to support our documentation. So in terms of the pipeline and the process, the tutorialized process that we'll be executing, let's take a look at the top. So we're going to start as with the development persona and be designing or updating our Acme Bank Disputes API spec up front. And we're going to do this in Insomnia. 
Once we've completed that update to the API spec, we're actually going to get it into source control and kick off our first Tekton pipeline. This Tekton pipeline is really for uh, like the development team's internal review process. At the end of it, assuming all of our checks pass, it's actually just going to open up a PR to the repository where the governance and operations teams are managing the actual uh, security and API operations. So once this first pipeline is, has completed, the output is a PR. We're then going to execute the second pipeline. And the second pipeline is going to do two things. It's going to execute the first batch of governance review testing. It's going to lint it in an automated fashion. And then assuming it passes those security requirements, it's then going to deploy the API spec to the sandbox runtime group and make it available in this, in this sandbox gateway instance. We're then going to go into Insomnia and test that we can hit this gateway service and start to review the API spec that we've just updated. Once we've finished with the API spec testing in the sandbox environment, we're then going to go back and kick off the third Tekton pipeline, which is going to deploy the API spec to the dev runtime group. It's also going to update Service Hub. Once this pipeline is finished, we're actually going to go back into Insomnia and we're going to hit this, we're going to hit the gateway and see how it interacts with the dev disputes dev microservice that's actually running the back end. Once we finish their testing, we're then going to wrap up with the third portion of the of the tutorial, which is talking about leveraging documentation and connect. And that's where we're going to go back into Service Hub and to Dev Portal and actually publish our API spec. And that is the full end-to-end -end picture of what we'll be doing in this tutorial and what we intend to accomplish. In the next video, we're actually going to execute an Ansible script to deploy this, to configure our ROSA cluster and connect. So I will see you over there.